What's going on guys? Joey Franzo here with Flex Training Systems and today uh, like literally like no preparation I'm just writing stuff down and talking to you guys <laughs> so this is what we're gonna go over today because this is what's been on my mind this is the topic that is just kind of like looming over us and I'm uh, you know this channel is about I, I, whatever I'm compelled to speak on I'll speak on it and this is what I'm compelled to speak on at the moment Quick updates for the programming workshop people. I've sent out all the invitations that I'm going to send out for this first round, which is going to happen this Saturday. And then I'm going to get feedback from that. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to just go down the list um, of the people that want to get in because of like chronologically. And then, you know, they were first. And then when I do another one, I'll make an announcement. But I want to do the first one. I want it to go off without a hitch. Um, what I'm thinking about I also need to like there's some other side things I need to work on but I just want to take one thing at a time make sure I do a good job and then I'll move on to the next thing so this is thank you redhead this is really exciting for me because you guys have dropped like really good questions um, and I think it's gonna be super valuable and I'm excited to build on it over time thank you feed me protein long long time no see brother um, but yeah, so if you got an email with an invitation, you, that's it. I'm not sending more for now. I'll probably do more later. If this weekend goes off without a hitch, I'll probably schedule another one soon. We got I also have to um, try to see about like makeup times for the people that can't make it. Um, and yeah, that is that. Really excited. First one's going down this weekend. That being said, let's move into the topic of today's video. USAPL recently put out a letter um, in regards to, I guess it was just updating us, updating us on the, uh, we got a hype train going, thanks brothers, uh, updating us as to the situation going on with the IPF Worlds, we still don't know if we can lift for sure yet. We literally still don't know. Like, nobody can give us an answer. It is incredibly frustrating. It has caused me stress. It has caused me and Tina stress. It has caused the lifter stress. They don't deserve to go through this. And honestly, I'm pissed. And to be honest, guys, I'm leaning towards not going. I'm very, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go. Mini traction, Jesus. Oh, we're on. We've got the hype train going. Anyway, um,. I was going to read the letter, but I'll probably just link it down below because I've already gone over it on my Instagram and um, it basically ends off saying we're going to split. There's no other way. Okay. But the we hope that the lifters can still lift at this one last worlds, which is very strange because if we're not lifting under USAPL, what the heck are the lifters? Like what is going on? Like what are they just lifting as like a nothing? It's very, very, very strange. So, oh God, thank you for the follow. It's very, very, very strange. Um, but, I mean, hey, it is what it is. And I'm sure, you know, I have some lifters that would rather compete at all than compete under a country. I think the goal is just to compete at the world level. And that is always going to be sought after. I was up late last night talking to Keiko in Discord. John Keiko, you guys know him. And we were just kind of going over like the situation and I was asking him like, I was asking him like, what do you care about more? Do you, you know, and he just said, I want to compete at the world level. If USAPL breaks off, then he'll still try to find a way back to that world level. And I don't blame him. And I think a lot of lifters are going to do that. I think the middle of the pack to like maybe like third place, fourth place, fifth place and below They'll probably stay USAPL, but the guys that truly believe they're the best of the best are probably going to, they might split off and go to another federation and try to get back to Worlds. But that breaks the question, what's going to happen, right? If we don't have it, the identity of USAPL, you could argue, was like established with the impression to most lifters that if you were to do good in USAPL, you could make it to the IPF, okay? And compete at Worlds whatever i the amount of people that that is like the incentive to lift at this federation is, that that is huge now usapl i believe offers the best drug testing of anyone by far like they trust a ton i've been a part of drug testing i've drug tested people on behalf of USA, usapl before like i went with tina one time she had to test someone 
so I know like the whole process and then, and it's very good I think it's very 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 good and our integrity is very well preserved um, you guys saw what I put in my store the other day on Instagram there's just like a bunch of like drama with testing at the IOC level and like you know certain countries that usually don't send a lot of lifters because they get popped are sending tons of lifters now it's like a lot of weird stuff going on um, but I think USAPL does it really really well and it's unfortunate that they're splitting they're doing more drug testing and the IPF doesn't want that so that's very unfortunate but anyway um, so it begs the question you know USAPL versus drug tested USPA I as much as USAPL does good things I don't see a reality where more people don't want to do more USPA because like unless USP if USAPL only is a national competition and then you have USPA and they have their drug tested national thing it's not really going to be too much of a difference you know for the lifter maybe they don't care too much about the drug testing or whatever and they want to do USPA but I think some lifters could break off and go to USPA I don't think too many will um, it really depends I think this is an opportunity for USPA to like really put some incentives out there for lifters to come compete and I think it would it could they could like take market share from USAPL if that makes sense at the same time USAPL needs to come out with something like on fire they need to literally be like guys we're not a part of IPF anymore we're gonna do bang 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 tournament we're gonna have tournament like a like, tournament style like uh, meat system that qualifies you for this meat this meat this meat this meat cash 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 you know just like a great system set it up run it all through the USAPL that'll be that'll be solid and that'll give lifters options at the end of the day this might be a good thing this literally might be a good thing if you're one of those lifters that can't beat Russ, you can't beat Amanda, and you can't beat, you know, whoever, but you can make some money doing a, doing this, this might be amazing for you. You know what I mean? You might get, like, imagine if you could get, like, top 10 at a meet and still get something. You know what I mean? I don't know. It might be cool. They got to make it prestigious, exclusive. You know, there has to be, like... It's like a video game. You start out like in an MMO and you're like a little baby character, right? And then you got to level up and you level up and you level up. And when you get strong enough, then you can start doing harder missions. And then you get strong enough and then you can start doing like raids. And then you have like the end game content, right? The big thing that you want to work hard towards, we need to have that in powerlifting. We need to have the entry level be something that could take you all the way to something that's very highly sought after and desirable, right? That was previously... USAPL local can go all the way to IPF worlds, right? Will there be a new world federation? I believe absolutely. Absolutely there'll be a new world federation. There has to be. Um I don't I don't see how I don't see how there wouldn't be. You know what I mean? Like there sooner or later there will be another federation that exists that will be a gateway to the IPF. When is that going to happen? I have no idea. It might not be for a couple years, it might not be for 6 months. I I literally don't know. Where are my lifters going to lift? I don't know. We'll wait and see. Uh, I'll make a video on it for sure. And I'll tell you guys, hey, guys, everybody go do this or everybody go do that. If there's three feds, I'll break it down. I'll tell you, hey, who should lift where, right? Um, again, the drug testing, I think USAPL is still going to be the best for this. In my opinion, I think they're the best for that by far. That I've, I remember the one meet that I refed at. We caught like five people at a local meet. It's pretty crazy, right? Five people. It's a lot of people to catch at a local meet. Um, and I and it was crazy is like I didn't even I didn't even think that the people that I was testing would get caught. I was just like testing them, and I thought everything was good, and then they popped, and I'm just like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just it's crazy. Because they were strong, but not like that strong. You know what I mean? And I suspect there's a lot of that going on. Like, just people in the middle that kind of, like, do stuff and they just don't get caught because they're not, like, super strong. So they just, you know, they're not a target. Meets to prep for. I was telling this to John. I said there's always going to be locals. There's always going to be regionals. There's always going to be nationals, which is a very, very, very highly sought after meet. And there's always going to be, I think, Arnold? I want to say the Arnold there, the Pro Raw Challenge, the Pro Am, all that is all, that shit. That's staying, right? I don't think that's going away. And if anything, those meets are gonna get better. 
because of this change. So there's good news. There's, you know what I mean? That doesn't mean just because there's no worlds doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Like there's still plenty of places to lift and things to be strong for and stuff to, sought after things to chase, in my opinion. Making the Arnold is a phenomenal goal. If you're a lifter that's just starting and your goal one day is to try to make Arnold. I mean, that kept me competing for like, I did Arnold five times and that was like what I, that was like what I really wanted to like try to get to. And then I just wanted to keep doing it because it's such a good, it's a hype meet. It's very hype. It gives a lot of, there's a lot of spectators and a lot of lights on you. And it's like, it's, it's great. It's very strict. The timing is fast to it's two and a half hours. Maybe, maybe slightly less like you squat, boom, you're warming up bench, boom, you're warming up deadlift. I, uh, you know, I love the Arnold. It's my favorite meet, me personally, um, because I can focus on lifting and like, yeah, I have lifters competing, but it's not like super strict. That brings up another thing in my mind. Will nationals be as significant now that, you know, well, if you win nationals, you go to worlds. Okay. Well, if we don't have worlds, if you win nationals, what happens you know what i mean it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting i don't know I, I i don't know and i'm i'm actually very interested to to hear from you guys because um i think we all lift for different reasons couple questions how many of you guys would be interested in lifting in another federation if there's no ipf worlds how many of you guys would still take national super serious if you knew that there was no way to get to worlds from it again we aren't officially broken off yet but the president literally said in the letter i think it was the president he said it looks like the only way forward is to split like it's literally verbatim um what was said in the letter um and i mean i think this has been a long time coming perhaps so um it's just it's kind of unfortunate because that dream for kids to like make it to the world level is going to change i believe it will be reinstated some other way maybe not through usapl but it'll probably happen with another or uh, another entity um i don't think uspa would be affiliated with ipf just because they have an untested division i just don't think it would happen i could be wrong i don't know I don't know if other countries have a federation like that, you know, that could do like testing and not testing. And then they have a tested like division for worlds, but it's very interesting to me. And I'm just I, like, I'm very interested to know what you guys think. And do you think people will split? Like, oh my God. am I going to have like half of the team do nationals and then half of the team do like some other fed? I think that USAPL will not care where people lift or what they do. Um, thank you for the follow. Th th they're not going to care, right? They'll be like, lift wherever you want. But the IPF will, oh my God, I think. And I believe that would cause some kind of, like, yeah, I don't know. I think because, like, for me, like, where am I going to coach? You know what I mean? I could coach anyone remotely. I'll just be, I, I could just stay at home and coach everyone. You know what I mean? Um, but like, as far as attendance goes, like what, where should I lift? I know that where I lift is going to bring a lot of people. It's going to bring a lot of influence. Um, it'll be crazy to see like people like Taylor and Amanda, if they lift in, in a different federation, like what does that mean for USAPL? Um, you know, everything is going to change guys. We are at the, we are at the, I need to look this up. Okay. We're at the precipice. <laughs> we are on the edge. The what? The precipice. It's like it's like when you're on the edge of a cliff right now. And we have a decision to make. <laughs> We're at the fork in the road. What are we going to do? I know I'm early. But I know there might be some people that are kind of looking ahead worried about what's going to happen like oh man if there's no ipf like do i even care about lifting um are people going to move to another country to try to do that i think that's a little crazy um 
I still think USAPL is going to be popping. I think they're going to make give some good incentives. And what would be interesting to me is there's a lot of people that are banned under USAPL. And if there's a new federation, it's going to be a clean slate. So I don't know how that would work. You let all those people in. But yeah, it'll be very interesting to know. Um, I can't even believe it. Like, I can't even believe I'm making a video on this. It's... It's crazy to me. <sighs> but yeah, um, mildly sad. But I, I know that at the end of the day, there's always reasons for people to live. There's always reasons for people to be strong. The benefits from powerlifting far exceed um, simply competition, in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you going to try to make this next Arnold coming up? I believe it's going to be in March. Um, are you looking forward for next nationals? Would you instantly switch to a new federation if you knew that like maybe not a lot of people were in it and you thought you could sneak your way to worlds? Like what, what are you guys, what are you guys thinking? Like, you know, I don't know if this is a bad thing overall because I think change can be good and I think change will make more competition and I think more competition means a better end product. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.